Number 11, a helium-filled toy balloon has a gauge pressure of 0.2 atmospheres and a volume of 10 liters. How much greater is the internal energy of the helium in the balloon than it would be at zero gauge pressure? All right, so we basically need to use this formula where it says the change in internal energy will be equal to three over two, three over two times then the change in pressure multiplied by the volume. If you're wondering where this formula came from, please check out number 10. I talked, I basically derived it from a, two other formulas. All right. Uh, so now what we need, again, we are being asked to how much greater is the internal energy. So we're being asked to calculate essentially the change in internal energy. And it sounds to me like the pressure is the item that's changing, right? And the volume is staying the same, okay? Um, so all I need to now do is plug in, but I, I would prefer if we had uh, the uh, units here of um, Pascal and of cubic meter. So first... We're going to take the 10 liters, convert that into cubic meters. You know you just got to move the decimal three places to the left. Essentially divide by uh, 1,000. So 0 0.0, 0, and that's in terms of now cubic meters. Okay? So that's the volume. And then the uh, pressure. So it says that now um, the we have a gauge pressure of 0.2 atmospheres, and then we have now... Um, a zero gauge pressure, right? So basically, you know that zero gauge pressure is going to be equivalent to atmospheric pressure, which is 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal, okay? And then it tells us the gauge pressure now is going to be 0.2 atm, right? So converting atmospheres into Pascal, all right, the conversion is essentially, so I'll do it up here, it's 0.2 atmospheres times then for every atmosphere, one atmosphere, there are 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. So I can find then the amount of Pascal here, right? So let's do it. So 0 0.2 times then 1.013, whoops, 0 0.2 times 1.013 times 10 to the fifth, and we get about 2,000. So here we're going to work out to be a value of 2.03 or so times 10 raised to the fourth Pascal. Right now, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. This is the gauge pressure. Okay. Right. And essentially, you're comparing a zero gauge pressure, which is atmospheric pressure, pure atmospheric pressure, to then an actual value of 0.2 gauge pressure. Right. So essentially, the, the, I mean, I could have done this a little differently, but essentially, this pressure is the gauge pressure, okay? Um, but I have to convert that into atmospheric pressure. So you have to remember this formula that, that uh, let's do gauge pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure minus 1.013 times 10 to the fifth, okay? So now basically what I realized, or this is, I think, did I say ap atmospheric pressure? If I did, I apologize. This is absolute pressure. All right, so this is 2.03 times 10 to the fourth is equal to absolute pressure. Absolute pressure minus 1.013 times 10 to the fifth. And then the absolute pressure here in this problem would simply be just the addition, right, of the two, 1.013 times 10 to the uh, fifth. And this works out to be now, this works out to be 1.2, 1 1.22 or so times 10 to the uh, fifth, and that's in Pascal. So this is one absolute pressure. Let me put this in a different color. This is one absolute pressure, and then this is the other. Okay, so that's the change in pressure, basically. This is the absolute uh, pressure at the, uh, this is the absolute pressure at the end. Okay, absolute pressure. So basically, now when I plug in my values, I know that the total change in internal energy is then going to be equal to 3 over 2 multiplied by the change in pressure. Well, these are the two pressure values that I'm working with, right? And the change between them will be the simple subtraction between them. And you might say, well, wait a minute. If I subtract them, aren't I going to just arrive at this? And yes, you will. So I could have shortcutted that for you, but I decided to convert everything into their respective values and then find the change, all right? But it is, yes, going to be this value. All right, so this is 1.22 times 10 to the fifth minus then 1.013 times 10, 10 to the fifth. 
and that's then going to be multiplied by the volume, and the volume in cubic meters was 0 .0, uh, 0 0.01, all right? And now the change in internal energy is just simply going to be this multiplication. So 3 divided by 2 multiplied now by that pressure, that difference in pressure, then multiplied by 0 0.01, and we're going to value about 304. So there's going to be 304 uh, joules, all right? And that would be how much greater? Yeah. So that is basically now the relationship, all right? We have a change in internal energy of about 304 um, joules, okay? Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.